What's going on, everybody? Welcome to What's Poppin' 2024. All right, guys, so this is the fourth year that I've been to What's Poppin'. It's kind of crazy that it's been four years. It's, it's awesome every time that I come to this event every year, but I'm really excited to be here this year. And also, guys, this is going to be an episode of the $50 Funko Pop Collection Challenge. I'll fill you in in a little bit all the stuff that I'm looking for for that as far as maybe some grails I want to check off the, the $100 pop list. But, uh, guys, there's a lot of good pops here, guys. We're going to walk around, show you all the really good grails and everything, the celebrity signers that are going to be here. I even got a table, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be really fun. So I think we got about 10 minutes until the show actually has opened up and I got all of my stuff set up guys right here at my table I wanted to show you something cool guys that I actually haven't shown off on the channel I've showed it off on Instagram guys, but I got my own custom a Wasatch pop Basketball pin guys, you know my connections to Utah and everything So this is an awesome one right here So I got a sticker and pin combo that I'm debuting here at what's poppin <laughs> Which while we're on the topic of this enamel pin, guys, you can actually get it available right now over on my Whatnot Marketplace store. These are limited to only 100 pieces, guys, so there's not a ton of them out there. And honestly, with my love of Utah, with my love of basketball, and obviously my name being Wasatch Pop, I figured this would be a pretty cool thing to release. So the pin and sticker combo, guys, is $16, and if you're a new user over on Whatnot, you can get $15 off of your first purchase, which if you're a new user, you can practically get this set for free. So link will be in the description and the comments, guys, if you wanna take advantage of that. And anyways, let's get back to the video. So that's awesome, but I got a bunch of stuff for sale as well. From things that you guys have seen in previous videos, I can kind of go over some of the higher end stuff. You got some boys stuff. You have some Avatar. What else we got? Attack on Titan. We have that Bane back there, Ghost Rider, Superhero Kermit, Wizard of Oz. I mean, tons of Five Nights at Freddy's as well. But uh, it's a little bit of everything, guys. Like I said, it's just stuff that I found in the previous videos that I am selling today but uh let's see if we can get a little bit of time we'll go around and see if we can find any grails that I'm looking for for the challenge or anything that I want to add to my personal collection okay guys so my table is actually over there I came over here because I noticed something that I want to pick up guys it is out of box but I do need this for my how to train your dragon set right here this is a barf and belch it would be cool to find it with a box but for 10 bucks out of box I think that's a great deal so I definitely want to pick that one up but they have a good selection of some other out of box stuff you can see in here guys you got a tigress i think that's from uh, american horror story lady gaga's character you got like tony hawk in there i don't know about you guys but i love seeing a bunch of out of box pops i think it's really cool oh you even have indiana jones i just noticed that one how much do they want for that one all right 25 for that one that's a tempting one too i don't think i have that one in my collection but yeah definitely gonna pick this one up but there's some other really cool ones in here as well all right, guys, they have some really cool Futurama ones in here. I have almost every single Futurama pop in my collection, so I already have these ones. But Robot Devil, that's an awesome one. And I think, yeah, Fry is up there as well. That's a cool one, too. But tons of different Spider-Man in here. And then I did notice one on their back wall right here, guys, with a Napoleon. That is one that I need to add to my set. I think it's the last one that I don't have in the Napoleon Dynamite set. But they have some really cool pops in here, guys. All right, guys, so I moved right over to the right here, guys, at my buddy Thompson's booth. And he has a couple of things that I'm kind of eyeing, guys. We have Kevin in the up house right here which i don't know if i'm qualifying this a part of the hundred dollar pops that i need with pop town because this one is at two hundred dollars i don't know if you guys can see that or not but he definitely has some good ones there was one that i wanted to show to you guys that i actually have in my collection right here and this is the damian lillard sign we actually got this one signed together and uh something cool actually guys jsa is here today authenticating signatures and i forgot to bring my damian lillard it would have been a perfect day to bring it but there's another good one right here guys with the blockbuster master chief that one is signed as well he's got some good ones guys if you want to check out some other grails like the darth vader that's right here what else we got the uh spartan freddy we have the uh, beetlejuice chase winnie the pooh even aloy i mean he's got he's got some good stuff you know it's kind of funny guys i slid over to this table and they also have a pop town of kevin with the up house which is actually pretty cool as well but if you guys want to take a look at some of the other stuff that are in this booth there's some good stuff guys like the original lord of the rings that are in here as well 
that's pretty awesome some video game stuff and i think i'll probably say this wrong guys but we have cat noir and uh ladybug i know that those have been some higher price pops that are a little bit harder to find but i would say that there is a good selection of grails at this table as well okay guys coming over to this table i do notice a couple of things that i think are awesome we have an original pinocchio right here i'm trying to hurry because the show starts literally in like a minute maybe even less but if you want to check out some other grails over here you have the zombie jake which is awesome kobe bryant jason voorhees chase i mean a bunch of sign stuff in here oh an original boo too okay all right yeah there's definitely some good ones in here guys but i gotta go back over to my booth because the show is literally starting in a couple minutes we'll definitely walk around more here in a little bit but this is gonna be really fun later all right folks it's been a couple hours and i just wanted to update you on something you guys will notice that i'm wearing a different hat so uh, my buddy Nico, I just met him a little bit ago, gifted me this custom hat, which is really cool, guys. I appreciate it, Nico. If you're watching the video, this hat is awesome. By the way, I forgot to mention that uh, Danielle is here with me as well. And we're just hanging out, selling some stuff. Like I said, it's been like three or four hours and uh, met a lot of you guys. So I think here in a little bit, I'm gonna do a little bit more uh, searching around the show and everything, see if I can find anything to knock off the $100 list and you know more things that I wanna add to my collection. So I guess that's probably what you'll see next. <laughs> Mark, what are you doing? Mark, what, what are you doing? Holy cow. Okay, when you watch the video, Mason, you are going <laughs> It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be good. All right, guys, I gotta show off some pops over here. There are some good ones. The one I wanna focus on right here, guys, is the hat box ghost. That's one that I need to add to my personal collection, so I'm definitely eyeing that one. But as far as for maybe the $100 collection, I already have a Disney one. If you wanna take a look at some of the other ones in here, guys, NFL's a category we've already knocked off, so there's some good NFL in here, though. I think MLB is one that I still need. Shohei Otani, I know, has fluctuated between like the $100 to $80 range, so that might be one that I add today for the MLB line. But yeah, definitely some other good grails in here guys there's actually some prototypes over here as well we'll check those out real quick all right folks if you want to see some of the other stuff that are in here guys we got a bunch of different nfts and here are those prototypes that i was telling you about i think that's mr me seeks a couple of different uh, south park ones in here as well but uh cool to see some protos at the event guys all right guys i'm in the back corner right here i did a little bit of walking and i found two pops that i want to pick up right here guys from the good place i have eleanor that's in this set for my personal collection but i don't have tahani or michael love the show me and my wife love it a lot so i want to see if i can find all the pops and since they're right here they seem to be in good condition i think i'm going to pick them up all right guys so i picked up those two good place pops but i wanted to show you some of the other grails that are in here like i wanted to show off this rory gilmore which is a cool one my wife loves uh the gilmore girls and the pops but they're really hard to find so i'm thinking about that one today maybe i'll surprise her with that one but if you want to take a look at some of the other stuff that he's got in here guys mlb is a category like i mentioned earlier that i still need for the challenge and uh, i think the white jersey version of Aaron Judge is about 100 bucks but looks like the road jersey is about 70 so that might be on the border of one that I pick up but but if you guys want to take a look at some of the other stuff yeah Kobe in there what else we got in here we got Bell Neo Neo is actually one that I have I think for the movies category yeah the movies category but yeah guys there is definitely a good selection of grails in here all right I made my way over to the left here guys where there's a couple of different sponsor booths we actually went in here during trade night but uh, I'm gonna go in and see if there's anything that I wanna pick up. Looks like there's some good Disney up front right here, guys, but I'll explore some more and see if there's anything else. Okay, guys, so inside of this little booth right here, guys, a couple that I do notice right here are the Disenchantment ones. That's a show that I have watched a little bit and I've been kind of debating on picking up some of the pops, but you got, uh, I think that's Elfo and also Bean, those are cool. But you guys know that I love all my cartoon stuff right here. So we have a Haunted Mansion right here as well. What else we got? Sesame Street, not quite cartoons, but stuff that I do love to collect. You got Corn line and a set that i've been thinking about starting guys or at least trying to complete is the uh, pirates of the caribbean right here so you got barbosa captain jack elizabeth swan so there's some good somewhat original ones all right and i figured i'd swing back around and show you some of these ones as well scooby-doo there's a couple in these sets guys in the scooby-doo sets that i don't have a velma would be one of them so i'll think about that one but it's cool to see it here at the show today We've got some rocky horror picture show some other disney fifth element oh another set that i've been thinking of wanting to start guys is bugs life i do love my pixar movies that's one of my favorite ones so maybe i'll have to ask about those as well all right guys so i came over to my buddy raz closet booth over here i think i came here on trade night for a little bit but i wanted to show you some of the cooler pieces that he has in here like this gold lebron which is awesome let's focus a little bit better on that predator 
which is the San Diego Comic Con one, Spartan Warrior, Ghostface. What else we got? We got the Beetlejuice Chase, Jason Voorhees. Lots of good grails in here, guys. Notorious B.I.G. That's sweet. And then there's a couple of Spider-Man pops down here, guys. This is one that I actually need to add to my collection. I have the Walgreens exclusive one, but I don't have the regular one. And he's, I think, close to about 100 bucks. So I'll think about that one and debate on it. Not one that I need for the challenge, but one that I might want to pick up for my personal collection. Gotta love Futurama as well, guys. Anytime I see that, I gotta show it off with Fry and Zoidberg right there. But I mean, come on, guys. He has so many good grails back here. Like, there's some good ones. Lydia Dietz is a great one with that new Beetlejuice movie coming out original mic right there and solely dang these are sweet guys i made it over to pop city's little booth over here well i say little but they're the main sponsor of the show i want to show off some of their cool grails in here see if there's anything i need to add to the hundred dollar or the fifty dollar challenge or anything i want to add to my personal collection gotta love it guys i want to show this one off right here guys the four pack of the universal monsters 1150 that is a price you on you don't see that often and it's limited to if you guys can see that 300 pieces that is a low piece count but i mean come on guys they've got all sorts of good stuff speedy gonzalez gotta show that one off some freddy's in there iron man what else we got in here guys lots of other good grails you got kevin durant and steph curry if you want to see some more marvel stuff guys i'm just gonna kind of pan through everything see if there's anything you guys like oh that chase right there spider-man from japan two thousand dollars Dang, that's a heavy hitter for sure. But uh, if you want to take a look at some of the other stuff they got in here, pretty solid. Oh, and on this backside, guys, they have a glow-in-the-dark Mike Wazowski. That's a heavy hitter for sure. You don't see that one very often. Got another Mike Wazowski right below him. The uh, San Diego Comic-Con one that's metallic. Got both of the uh, Martians from Mars Attack, which is cool. But uh, oh my goodness, guys, they, they brought out the good stuff for the show. All right, guys, we got about an hour left in the show. I'm going to walk around for a little little bit more i think there's a couple booths that i missed but uh we'll see if i can find anything that i'm looking for or anything that i'm missing hopefully we can find some good stuff okay i came back here guys and i'm seeing some pretty solid stuff right off the bat guys we got some good anime things we have this boo right here which is pretty cool i've been debating on you know collecting some of the original pixar stuff like toy story monsters inc so that's one that i'm thinking about and then right behind me folks i found some of the original rudolph the red-nosed reindeer pops which are awesome those are older ones that i don't feel like i see very much in person so if you guys want to take a look at those we got yukon cornelius rudolph bumble there's a little bit of a glare there we go and santa claus some really cool ones okay folks i'm more towards the front right here guys and i found this table death funko they have some really cool stuff in here guys like if you want to take a look the hr pub and stuff from the hollywood grand opening i believe the hollywood store we have jiminy cricket right there mr toad donald duck what else we got original beavis and butthead dang those are cool some good horror ones in here as well you got like pennywise you got uh, billy from saw what else we got in here jason Voorhees, michael myers and also freddy krueger yeah overall i would say there's some good ones at this table too all right guys i am back at home i gotta show you my entire haul from what's popping picked up some really good stuff so first things first guys i ended up picking up an out of box pop for ten dollars which i thought was a great deal because this pop usually goes for about 60 70 dollars with a box and this actually completes my how to train your dragon set guys this is barf and belch definitely a very unique pop guys you don't see a pop with two heads very often but uh yeah like i said this technically completes my collection i have another one that's out of box with astrid so maybe down the road guys i'll find some good deals of them in boxes and things like that and then i can get rid of the out of box ones to maybe offset the cost i don't know but for the time being i'm pretty happy to add this one into the collection love the detail on all of these different dragon pops and this one is pretty solid next up guys i picked up something that actually wasn't a funko pop that's kind of a unique series of figures i ended up getting two dorbs rides which you'll think is kind of weird but i ended up picking up the fruit boot ride right here guys and i also picked up his buddy right here the yummy mummy ride if you guys remember a little bit ago i ended up picking up actually a booberry ride which you can actually probably see it back here on my arcade cabinet and i told myself if i come across the other serial monsters in those other rides i definitely want to add them to the collection 
I ended up paying, you know, it was a little pricey on these. I paid a 60 for both of them, which on eBay, I believe they go for a little bit lower, but I don't see these very often in person, you know, and if I went to a vet and had to fly these guys home, it would have been a lot harder. So I figured if I can pick them up in person at a local event, I might as well. But the cool part about these guys is I think they both glow in the dark. Both are limited. This one is limited to 1500 pieces right here. And then the Yummy Mummy is limited to 3000. So I think all of the different, uh, you know, cereal monster rides are limited, but I gotta say, I think these pieces are really cool and uh, I'll have to add them to the back arcade cabinet. All right, up next guys, I ended up picking up a couple of pops from a TV show that I've actually watched through twice. Me and my wife love this show and I'm getting pretty close to completing the set guys. I ended up picking up Michael from The Good Place and also Tahani Al-Jamil. And if we look on the back of the box right here guys, I think the only ones that I'm missing from this set now are Janet, Chidi, and also Jason. So I guess technically I have half of the set complete. So I'll have to be on the lookout for all of those different ones guys but for right now I'm really happy to add these ones guys I love the show if you haven't seen it guys I would definitely give it a chance it's a very unique show it's super duper funny and it's probably one of the best television shows that I've ever seen so if you guys remember from the last video I ended up getting that custom Homer Simpson soda and the same guy his name is Charles he ended up bringing a pop with him to see if I had anything that I could trade with it and I didn't really have much that you know I felt like he was really interested in trade but he ended up bringing this one he offered it to me for free and I said, no, that's a very expensive pop. I, I can't take it. So I ended up paying $50. We came to a deal on $50 for this figure right here, guys. And uh, well, I ended up getting Velma from uh, Scooby-Doo. And this is one of the more expensive pops, guys, from the baseline set of the Mystery Gang that you can see on the back of the box right there. So, hey, for $50 is a great deal. Charles, thank you so much for being super generous. Let me, you know, have a good deal on this pop right here because this is one that I didn't have. So now the other one that I need to complete, you know, just the regular set is I believe just Daphne now. And I think she's probably about like 40 to $60 from what I've seen. So in maybe some of the future conventions that I go to, I'll definitely have to pick that one up. But Charles, thank you again for giving me a good deal and uh, let me add Velma to my Scooby-Doo collection. And folks, that is gonna do it for both videos for What's Poppin'. And I gotta give a big shout out to everybody that's involved, whether that be Pop City, Rogue Toys, all the different sponsors that were there. You guys always put together a really cool event. Thank you for inviting me out as well. And I honestly, everybody that I met over there, guys, you guys are super super kind, met all sorts of viewers and everything, the local collectors. It's just such a fun time. Folks, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another. Always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.